Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. My name is Howard and today we're going to talk about NetExec. You might have seen posts like this on LinkedIn where people are talking about how CrackMap Exec is no longer being supported, but there is a new fork for it, which is NetExec. There is a couple individuals who decided to take on the continuation of CrackMap Exec with a new name called NetExec. Exec. So going to the GitHub page here, they actually explain what happened. In September two, in September 2023, the person who was maintaining this retired from maintaining the project. So along with a lot of other contributors, Ned is Black, Marshall, Helen Beck, and Z Blocks decided to develop new features, bug fixes, and help maintain the original project Krebmec Exec. So this is the original project that's being improved by these wonderful people here. So huge shout out to them and also thanks because you're maintaining a tool that we all rely on that we actually really like so i'm glad that someone decided to take on this project so in this video i'm going to share with you how i'm going to try and install netexec and also use my game of active directory environment that i have in my lab to test out the usual crack member exec things that we used to do and see if netexec is still functional I'll show you the installation following the documentation and you can play around with it and see some data and some syntax. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and say these are the instructions for installation. All you need to do is use PPX. That's the recommended one. I installed it in my Kali Linux machine and it's pretty straightforward. After you run the commands, it will just go ahead and do the installation. Nothing too fancy there. If you're interested in the Bloodhound ingestion and other things, you need to go and configure your Bloodhound. Otherwise, you need to just run that command to install it. So what do people use CrackMap exec for? Or what did they use to use it for? And can NetExec do the same thing? Well, the first thing is we can enumerate SMB, SMB versions, SMB version one, and also if signing is enabled. So let's try that in my domain environment. Okay, so just like CrackMap exec, we can just go ahead and say NetExec this is a full uh, name. You can actually shorten it. I'll show you in a little bit here, but I'm going for the entire subnet and see if there's any host that actually have SMB signing enabled and also if it's version one. As you can see, we're identifying here. This is one machine already. The results already look exactly like what CrackMap exec was and we can identify a few hosts here that we might want to work with. So once we identify this host, we can proceed with our pen test. So it does work on identifying SMB. What about users? Can we identify some users? In this case, I'm going to say, hey, NetExec, this is the shortcut NXC. Let's go after SMB because we know SMB works. I'm going for my domain controller and I just need some users. I don't have any credentials yet. Let's see if I can identify some users. As you can see, just like CrackMapExec, we notice that we have a password here in the comments. Uh, we have a bunch of users that have been dumped from the domain so so far we're happy oh actually after identifying the people users before we brute force these users can we look for a password policy so i'm going to say give me the password policy as you can see we see the minimum length is five so smb works perfectly so let's move to ldap what if we try an ldap server here we're saying hey let's go to ldap to the domain controller using john snow and let's look for MAQ to see if we can create any machines, like if there's any quarters on machine that we can create. So in this case, we actually have the default machine quarter here. So LDAP still great. So everything so far looks amazing. I want to come back and do us uh, maybe let's throw this hash to all the hosts in the domain. We, we found, let's say we found the hash. We actually found this last time. Are there other machines on the domain? that actually are sharing the same password. In this case, we're throwing the hash to see if we can pawn more machines. And here we go. We actually see two more machines. I mean, one more machine in addition to where we found the hash. So SMB check with hashes is a checkbox. So this is sort of like our two testing. I did try the Bloodhound ingester. So I've spun out Bloodhound here. And I also, okay, so I tried the Bloodhound ingester to see if I can collect the data. I think this is in my lab environment. Something is broken because I was trying to collect data from Bloodhound and automatically, I mean, uh, using this tool and automatically upload to Bloodhound and I'm getting this error here. So I'll need to fix this. So if you know how to fix this error here about Bloodhound not being able to collect, 
let me know. Otherwise, this is something that I will look at later. But I'm excited to see that you can still run the LDAP query against a domain and also collect data for Bloodhound. And it will automatically up upload it. So in my case, it fails. And finally, another protocol that I wanted to try is WinRM. Because WinRM allows us to test some credentials. Say we found Jon Snow's uh, credentials, but we don't know where, this, where else these credentials work. So we can throw them on an entire subnet or we can throw them on just a few hosts. In this case, I'm saying, I want to know, are these credentials being used anywhere else in the domain? And as you can see, it's working. We actually have these credentials, which are domain admin credentials, um, matching on all these machines here. So that's what we have for this tool here, NetExec. And I'm excited that it's still functional and there's more, to, more, more, more things that I can look at. And if you are interested in a certain f feature or if you want to suggest something that I can try, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm excited that NetExec is here and it looks like the team is developing it. And I'm so thankful for them. If you are interested in learning more about Active Directory and how you can actually learn in a safe and secure environment, follow me, like this video, subscribe, and we can continue on our learning journey to become better pen testers, better red teamers, and protect the enterprise. Otherwise, have a good day, and I hope to see you next time.